across the middle. It's caught at the 20. Racing near sideline 10. Car to the 5. Six easy. Touchdown Raiders. He throws and it's caught by Renfro for a first down. He's still going to the end zone. Touchdown. Fans coming into town. The Raider Nation is here. They're taking over Vegas. And this crowd here in Las Vegas. It's one of the loudest places I've ever been in, especially in clothes like that. It's, uh, it's, it's that is the, the best atmosphere that I've ever been in. Touchdown, Raiders! It's an exciting setup here, though, isn't it? Yeah. You can really feel the energy. It is loud in this stadium. on the outside it is on Waller. Waller misses it, so Carr just starts getting in the way. Well, that, that wasn't even much of getting in the way. Miller the block. Going deep for Adams. Intercepted. It's Samuel. Carr trying to throw a jump ball down the field. Adams had a little bit of a distance on him. Carr not having a lot of room to step up. Bryce Callahan in position, but Asante Samuel Jr. with the interception. Blocked by Jacobs. Oh, they get him from behind. Coming through with a terrific play from the safety, Turwin James. It's a sack. It's back to the 29 and a loss on the play of six. Well, keep an eye on Josh Jacobs. He comes up and does a poor job of chopping Derwin James. He goes down at his feet. James just jumps. Watch to your left. James just jumps over the top of it, gets back on his feet, and is able to get the sack before Carr can get rid of it. Great athleticism by James coming off the edge. Chargers second down and two for Derek Carr. Miller the block. It's picked off. Bryce Callahan. Carr has just thrown his third. Interception today. Well, I don't know if he was throwing this to Devontae Adams on the outside. And Hunter Renfro was working his way across the field. No, he's throwing that to Renfro. It's his Callahan's able to undercut it and come up, as you said, Kevin, with the third interception of the day on Derek Carr. What an impressive job by this Chargers defense so far today. The Raiders in the preseason for what it's worth. Six defensive backs, fourth and eight, pocket trembling, knocked away! Kelly Mack! Chargers have it! Kelly Mack comes up with his third sack today! On where Devontae Adams was, and then as the pocket collapsed around me, tried sliding up. You see Mack reach out with that left arm. Murray. Stepping up. Gonna run for it. Gonna make the end zone for the touchdown. Two points on the tie. Murray. Directing traffic to the end zone. Diving. And the catch is made. <laughs> A.J. Green. Whoa. 
What a pass. Oh, what a throw. Running out of time. On the move. Coming back this way. Dancing and looking and directing traffic. And look at the length of this play. <laughs> Murray no, to the 10. Come on. To the 5. And he's going to convert it. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Quick pass outside. And that is complete. That is Moreau. And Moreau fighting for yardage. The ball is loose again. Uh -oh. Picked up by That's the Cardinals. This is Byron Murphy to the end zone for game. the touchdown and the win. Anytime you change quarterbacks from, you know, a Hall of Famer to Hall of Famer, you go, you know, Stabler to, to Rich Gannon or whoever you go to, it's going to be a little bit of an adjustment. And, you know, both are, are great players and, and great to be around. So I'm just enjoying that process and, and getting better myself. I mean, it's always tough going from Hall of Famer to Hall of Famer. <laughs> <laughs> what is up, YouTube Cash TV? Back with another vid. And you thought I forgot? No, I didn't forget. The Raiders fucking stink. They are 0-3 to start off the season after acquiring Josh McDaniels as head coach and making all of the goddamn moves that they made in the offseason. Getting Devontae Adams. Picking up all these... Uh, washed up Patriot players that wanted to roll with Josh McDaniels and now the Raiders are sitting at 0-3 when everybody thought this team was going to be a big threat to the AFC West uh, division and conference um, <laughs> they are in last place in their division <laughs> you know you got the Broncos the, the Chiefs and the uh, sorry ass Chargers um, in that division. And, uh, you know, everybody was saying that this was the best division in football. Well, the Raiders haven't lived up to that shit yet. They haven't. They haven't lived up to the hype of having Devontae Adams there. Of course, you know what I'm saying? He had a couple of, uh, he had one game for 141 yards and a touchdown. Um, he had another game with like two receptions and a touchdown. Then he had another game where he pretty much didn't do a fucking thing at all. Um, and, you know, this is a, a man that wanted to go play with his best friend, his college buddy. He wanted to go play with Derek Dallas Carr, his college buddy from Fresno State, the Fresno State Bulldogs. You know what I mean? And now you find yourself in this clusterfuck with an unproven coach and a quarterback that is up and down. You don't know what kind of Derek Carr you're going to get. I think Derek Carr got more turnovers than he got touchdowns or some shit like that. Um, I could be wrong, but I think he got more turnovers than he got touchdowns. So there you have that situation right there where the Raiders just could completely keep fucking up. They let they let the uh, Arizona Cardinals come back and beat them. Uh, they got pretty much destroyed in the game against the Chargers. First game of the season. Uh, and then this last game against the Tennessee Titans where they just shot themselves in the foot again. 
Um, they got two big games coming up before they go on a bye. They got two division games. They play against the Broncos week four, and then they got to play against the Kansas City Chiefs week five. Then they go on a bye week. Then I think they come back and play the fucking Saints. <laughs> I mean, the, the Raiders got a got a possible chance of going shit 0 and 6 or 1 and 5 <laughs> with Devontae Adams. Mm. Mm. Every L y'all motherfucking Raiders are catching him. Every damn L. Every L. Playing, playing this kind of football. Devontae, you took a step back. You took a step back, bruh. What, what, what happened to the, what happened to the, you know what I'm saying? Hall of Famer to Hall of Famer speech. Because like I said, you lied. Why would you lie to your best friend like that? Why would you lie to Derek Carr like that and say he a Hall of Famer when you know he not? You knew you was taking a big step back when you went over there to play with Derek Carr after being with Aaron Rodgers? Come on, man, be real. You trying to remix and shit, trying to remix your statements, what you said, sounding all fuck, fucking delusional. You asked for this. You know, uh, I just wanted to, you know, uh, be able to have my family come see me play and you know it's, it's you know playing and trying to come to green bay is you know it's kind of expensive and it's far so you know i wanted to you know be somewhere where my all, all my family could come see me play see you come see you lose that's what you meant you want you wanted your family to come see you lose because that's what you're doing you're torturing them Devonte. you're torturing them we seen you frustrated this past week. You was pissed off, mad, upset. And I get it. I get it, Raider fans. I get it. Y'all was all on social media. <laughs> when y'all got Devontae Adams talking all that shit. Thinking that, you know, life was just going to be made easy once you got that motherfucker over there. Once you got him over there, you thought it was going to be easy. You thought it was going to be smooth selling with Devontae Adams and Derek Dallas Carr, huh? Thought it was going to be smooth selling, huh? Nope. The joke is on you. The joke is on the Raiders. Devontae lied to y'all. Or did y'all lie to Devontae? Now, we could take this back. We could get real, 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 real deep with this if we wanted to. Matter of fact, let's take it there. Let's make a motherfucking right turn. Now, remember when Antonio Brown went to the Raiders? Remember that? Remember when Antonio Brown went to the Raiders? And the Raiders was jumping up and down. We got us a number one receiver now. After y'all lost Amari Cooper. After he left to go be nothing with the Brown, with the Dallas Cowboys. And now with the Cleveland Browns. You know what I'm saying? Remember that? Before we go further on to this, I just want to give a special shout out to Donald Driver for being a nominee in the Hall of Fame along with Ryan Longwell. Uh, congratulations to you guys. I hope you guys get picked to be one of the 15 finalists into entering into the Hall of Fame. So, man. Um, yeah, they got it. They got Antonio Brown, but Antonio Brown wasn't the kind of receivers the Raiders wanted. They wanted a more docile. They wanted a Amari Cooper guy. A guy that was going to keep his head down and go out there and perform every week, make plays, and try to help the team win. They didn't want no flashy, flamboyant wide receiver that had a bunch of controversy behind him, already knowing that the Raiders are a very controversial team um, with the stuff that has happened since they moved to Vegas with Henry Ruggs and, you know, the whole John Gruden situation and whatnot. Um, and Mike Mayock, 
you know what I'm saying, bringing in Antonio Brown, thinking that would, uh, thinking that Antonio Brown would be the receiver to correct, uh, uh, right a lot of Derek, Derek Carr's wrongs as a, as a quarterback. Um, and that's basically what the Raiders are trying to do. They know they need to go get a new quarterback. They know that. They know Derek Carr is not what they really, I mean, he, he, he looks the part. He acts out the part. He just can't play the part. They want a quarterback that can go out there and play the part and do all of the extra shit that Derek Carr does as far as like, you know, being a team leader and all of that bullshit um, and a team captain for uh, and, and for the offense. But he's not living up to expectations. And, and they got a, a, a plethora of weapons around Derek Carr. You know, you got Winfro, you got Darren Waller, Devontae Adams, uh, I think, is Zay Jones still over there? I mean, y'all got a, y'all got a, a nice, y'all got a good offense. Y'all got Josh Jacobs, good running back. Um, and the main problem on the offensive side of the ball is the quarterback. It's Derek Carr. He's turning the ball over constantly. Not only that, you got games where the receivers and the tight end are fumbling the ball, screwing up drives, um, where you have no choice but to try to throw it to Devontae Adams on third and long, and he's fucking triple covered. You know what I mean? Like, you got a quarterback that's not really smart upstairs when it comes to making quick decisions playing the uh playing the quarterback position getting the ball out quick enough fast enough reading the defense you know what i mean Derek Carr, he kind of lacks in those areas kind of lacks in those areas so um the raiders got to figure out what they're gonna do i know they probably upstairs scratching their head and they looking at the schedule and they like uh hmm can this guy get us over the hump? We got some games coming up that if we lose, we really gonna be sitting behind the eight ball. If they lose the next two games, Broncos and the Chiefs coming up, the Raiders gonna be playing playoff football for the remainder of the season. They gonna be playing playoff football for the remainder of the season. So Josh McDaniels, Whatever you trying to teach over there to get these guys to try to win, they better fucking learn it quick and they better learn it fucking fast. Because <laughs> the wound is open and you're bleeding out. You need some medical attention to patch that wound up before, uh, you know, you look up and it's fucking week nine and the Raiders only done won three games. So the Raiders got a lot of questions that they need answered. Um, AJ hit me up today, and he, he talked about it. He was like, hey, man, you think Devontae Adams going to want out of this contract? <laughs> uh, not right now. I mean, I don't even know if he could. I mean, he could ask for a trade, you know what I'm saying, if he feels like um, – this team is uh, messing up his money and stopping him from being successful because remember when it comes to these contracts you know a lot of these players got incentive based contracts that are you know win win lose heavy you know what I'm saying and you got the you got shit in your contract and be like oh you get this much money um, if you make it to the playoffs you get this much money if you have a thousand receiving yards you Make you you get the, you get a little bit of more money if you have over ten touchdown catches. Oh, you get this little boost, you get this little bonus right here if you have over a hundred receptions for the season. Like so, a lot of these players be out here trying to get get paid. Remember when uh, Brady told Gronk to get back on the field so he could throw him that one little pass 
that he would he needed to get his bonus and the fucking Buccaneers let him get his million dollar bonus. But when it come to Antonio Brown trying to get his bonus, nah man, nah. So, you know, this is the Raiders attempt going after Devontae to, you know, uh to replace fucking Antonio Brown and Amari Cooper. And of course some sacrifices had to be made with uh you know John Gruden being fired and um, Antonio Brown doing the dumb shit that he did. So the Raiders needed some help. They got Devontae Adams to come over there. And the initial thought was that this was going to be a successful connection between um, quarterback and receiver on another level. Knowing that you now have the best receiver in the league, uh, <laughs> you're 0 and 3. You're 0 and 3. And you got a chance to go 0 and 5. And I believe that's what's going to happen. I think the Raiders are going to be 0 and 5. And Josh McDaniel's job is going to be on a hot seat. His job is going to be on a hot seat. They already add, they already, there's people already online talking about fire Josh McDaniels. You know what I mean? So, of course, Devontae always going to say that this was the best decision that he ever made of going to the Raiders just based off the fucking money that he got paid to, to go play for the Raiders. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the money talks bullshit walk and he going to try to come up with a shitload of excuses or why they not winning games and oh this is a progress thing you know we gotta we gotta you know it's a learning you know just uh, gotta make adjustments with the new quarterback it ain't gonna never be no adjustments Derek Carr ain't gonna never be able to throw the ball like Aaron Rodgers threw the ball to you bro and that's just a fucking fact that's just a fact and a fact and a fact and another super fact that remains now is that you probably over there like, damn, I wish I had Aaron Rodgers throwing the ball to me because Derek Carr is costing you money. He's costing you money, Devontae. So uh, we'll see what happens with the Raiders in the next two weeks. And if they wind up being 0-5, I'll be coming with another video because every L, y'all catching fucking hell. I lost. <laughs> I lost. <laughs> why, why, why is Derek not a, a Hall of Famer, you know? But what I, what I meant, I left one key word out of there because it's, that's not exactly what I meant, but I do think that Derek's career is Hall of Fame worthy, and, and why not? I mean, you know, people can, can say that about this guy or that guy. What I would say is, does he have the, the MVPs right now? You know, no. Does he, has he won a Super Bowl? Not yet. You know, that's obviously what we're, what we're chasing. But what I meant to say was, even if you go – Hall of, if you go even Hall of Famer to Hall of Famer, it's an adjustment. You know, I mean, like, even if it is Hall of Famer to Hall of Famer, there's going to be an adjustment. I wasn't saying Hall of Famer Aaron to Hall of Famer Derek. So I'm not retracting my statement at all. 